gentleman's having water seepage in his basement. The seepage is coming from cracks through the floor, so the only way to take care of this is to relieve the hydrostatic pressure before it becomes a problem. How we do that is by installing a four inch drain next to the footing under his foundation and grade it into a sump pit and pump it out of the house. So today we'll be breaking some concrete, digging out a little bit inside his basement. I know it sounds scary, but it's actually not that bad. We'll be digging a discharge line outside in order to get rid of the water into his yard. We'll be also installing gutter extensions, which we will bury underground to help keep the water away from his house to prevent the buildup of the water in the first place. So the system is gonna start right here. Like I said, we're just gonna do a partial system around the basement. We're gonna start it right here. Yeah, we'll be able to use some, get the material out of here. We'll go right under the wall to the sump pit there and bring it out. This is one of the best prepped houses I've ever been in, actually. Usually we put stuff on the floors, we put plastic up like this. It saves us time because now we don't have to do it. One guy in there taking stuff out, one guy here bringing it and throwing it in the truck. The water is gravity fed into the sump pit and the sump pump itself here, the Zoller M53 that we use, is what pumps it out so the pressure doesn't build up and cause water in the basement. So this is essentially the most important part of the system. This is a relief hole we're installing to make sure the air pressure doesn't build up. Make sure that hole points away from the valve. I just need to put this piece onto this piece and we're ready to go. Sump pump is installed. inch ASTM pipe and it's gonna be buried under the ground. His, his yard slopes away real nice. So once we get the water away from the house enough to the slope, it'll just naturally go down the slope and stay away. It won't ever build up. First remove the grass and then dig down 
and bury these pipes. Connect them to the gutters and or in the discharge line here. And then rebury them and then replace the grass so that his lawn looks good. Now that we have the discharge line installed and the gutter extensions buried, the water will have a chance to be able to get far enough from the foundation so that it doesn't build up hydrostatic pressure, which was causing the water problem in the basement in the first place. And so all we need to do now is get rid of all the debris, clean up, and we can get out of here. And that's the real deal with the real seal. <laughs>